Spanish market, standing next to a Native American artist, a master Native American artist, very well known. And here he is showing the synthesis of what New Mexico is all about, looking at Hispanic influence on Native culture and then Native culture influence on Hispanic Definitely. art. And it really does come through on Amado's uh, paintings. I can ask, what inspired you to start painting in the very beginning? Well, you know, I, I started making pictures when I was 10 years old. And as a kid, it was just something that I loved doing. It was kind of a, you know, I mean, I enjoyed a lot of other things, but somehow I managed to, to, to focus and, and really enjoy the fact that I like making pictures. And I used to draw all kinds of different things around me. I grew up in a ranch and as well as in the city. So a lot of my early subject matter had to do with ranch life. But it was just something that I liked doing, and I was very fortunate that my parents were very encourageable, and uh, they they let me pretty much do what I wanted to do. And and uh, when they discovered that I had, you know, I guess they recognized some kind of a talent, they they were very supportive, and and uh, again very fortunate that through my career in terms of growing up and going to school, I had a really positive reinforcement from my teachers and friends. And uh, the fact that I loved doing it more than anything else, and the fact that people were very much aware of what I was doing and encouraged me to do it, helped a lot. And so, you know, I, I think that uh, the, su the success kind of goes from friends and neighbors, family members, to collectors now. And uh, the, the same feel is still there. And I'm very fortunate because I have two different cultures that I can base my my whole heritage on and it's uh, what I consider to be a very very wonderful journey and and because I, I make pictures of that journey it uh, it reinforces almost everything that I do it helps me grow uh, it uh, as, a, as a visual artist I feel a responsibility to document what I know and what I feel and what would be relevant to me and what I would like to share with the public and uh, I'm very fortunate that I opened my first studio in 1965 and have been doing it ever since. Very fortunate to still be around and still get an excitement from the public, old collectors and new ones that uh, see something very rare in the imagery. And, and that's very encouraging. It kind of helps me kind of evaluate what I'm doing and, and keeps me going. So, Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank I appreciate you. it. Good luck on the show. Thank you. Ooh, wonderful.